Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, the channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now just to preface this video, there's construction noises outside my window, they've been working for a while. I tried to wait it out, but it looks like they're going to be probably working throughout the whole day. So if you guys hear any noises in the background, I'm at a hotel right now, there's nothing I can really do about it. But I just thought I'd warn you before recording the video. Now for the video itself, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Now you know how it is on this channel, you know my perspective, if I even have an excuse, a small excuse to make a video on Lori Lightfoot, I'm going to do it. It's just pure content. But this time, folks, it's not just content, it is prime Lori Lightfoot content. I honestly cannot believe that I missed this leak, or I guess not really a leak, just a little uncovered Lori Lightfoot tidbit from years and years ago from her Yelp review account. That really just sums up everything, explains everything. From what I gathered, this was uncovered in, I believe, 2019, but all of a sudden people are talking about it again. I read the whole thing and I said, how have I never seen this? And so, of course, I'm sure a lot of you guys have not seen it before, but Trust me, it's going to explain a whole lot about who Mayor Lori Lightfoot is, and of course why she's bad for Chicago. But before we get into any of the memes, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible, we are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm, hidden from non-subscribed viewers, and with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. Alright folks, so I hope you guys are ready. This is Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot's Yelp account, and this was one of her reviews from back in 2017. When I tell you that this is absolute internet comedy gold, I'm not overstating it. She left a review on VIP limousine, limos and party bus rentals. I would never use VIP limo again. Driver Carlos showed up early for our pickup. A good sign, right? Turned out not be so. It's very possible that Lori Lightfoot was inebriated while writing this, but I'll try to make it through all the typos and sound as coherent as possible. Carlos shows up and wants to use our bathroom. A little strange, but fine. Turns out he pisses in our toilet and does not have the courtesy to put down the toilet seats. Beginning of the end. We were going to the United Center. Carlos clearly had no idea who to get there. She meant how to get there. He is totally reliant on whacked GPS system that has him driving his huge Cadillac Escalade stretch down extremely narrow neighborhood streets going in a route that made no sense. I had to take over and give him clear directions to get to the expressway. Apparently, that was totally emasculating to him. But how says, my GPS says I should get off at Division, off the expressway when we are going much further south and west. We finally get there, and he says he needs two numbers for a return pickup. We had already given him one for my female spouse. I say that I will just give him mine since I'm the person paying. Carlos says, I need one from the gentleman. I am totally confused and question this. Carlos explains to this dumb female that he needs a number from a guy because girls take too many pictures and run down the battery on their phone. <laughs> My expression must have said something, because he then said to me, Trust me, I have been doing this for 20 years. You know what? With 20 years of experience, he probably knows exactly what he's talking about. I am a middle-aged woman, not some dumb kid from his misogynistic worldview. I of course gave it to him, and his response was to rudely close the window divider while I was talking. This guy was a complete a-hole, stupid terrible driver, and complete jerk on top of it. I cannot believe that he is employed, and I would never use this service again while he is. And so clearly, you can already feel exactly what I'm feeling, can't you? Either half of the stuff that she claimed either didn't happen, or she is giving a completely one-sided take in an effort to demonize poor Carlos. Here's where it gets interesting. The business owner, Thomas from VIP Limousine, responds to Mayor Lori Lightfoot's Yelp review. One, our driver did not use your bathroom. We checked the vehicle cameras, and he did not enter your home. You had lots of guests over, and one of them could have done what you claim our wonderful driver Carlos did. They had the receipts, folks. They checked the camera, and Carlos, poor Carlos, never left the car. Two, our drivers have GPS systems that work with current events and traffic. Chicago often has festivals, and we have to work around them. It is not your place to tell him how to do his job. And so you can clearly tell tell that Lori Lightfoot was pestering him, and that Carlos, for the most part, was probably very calm and very respectful, dealing with what was most likely a rowdy Lori Lightfoot. 3. Our drivers ask for a gentleman's phone number actually because they don't ever want to seem inappropriate asking for a lady's phone number. And once again, as you see, walking on eggshells to please the sensibilities of the feminist crowd, even when you try to do the right thing, they somehow find something to be offended by. And you should appreciate that Carlos took the time to ask Ask for a backup phone in case you lose signal or battery. Again, our drivers know what they are doing and have experience. And here is where it gets absolutely based. 
It seems to me the only person here who is sexist, my dear, is you. I don't know where you come to your conclusion that you were emasculating him. Maybe you hoped you were. Your language is horrendous and lewd. Just your rant here makes me feel embarrassed for you. Also, wow, that's pretty insulting that you refer to women who like to take a lot of pics at their events as, quote, dumb female. Your driver arrived early. He got you on time and safely to your event. Your credit card you provided on the contract was also declining. We even let you use Use a different credit card for your payment, which is against our rules, and you received an upgraded vehicle twice the price of what you paid for without any upcharge as a free upgrade from our company. Wish I could review customers like you, find something better to do with your time, and you should appreciate great service when you receive it. And so here's exactly what I'm talking about. This Yelp encounter has been on the internet since 2019 and I'm just finding this out now? I've been covering Lori Lightfoot for two years. How did I not know this existed? Everything makes so much more sense. Lori Lightfoot constantly angry at the world, at men, at literally anybody who's not part of her identity group. The constant negative attitude. Her reaction to the press that one time claiming she will not address any white reporters. It all makes sense. She's a mega Karen. It all makes sense, she's a very unhappy person. And we now have double the receipts. A couple months ago we covered the leaked emails, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot accused of toxic work environment after internal emails revealed. With this classic email right over here, since my prior requests for office time are routinely ignored, I am now resorting to this. Going on a complete unhinged tirade which we will not even entertain, we've covered it before, and it's more proof that Mayor Lori Lightfoot is a liar, she's manipulative, she's toxic, and above all, she is not qualified to be the mayor of Chicago. And that has nothing to do with any of her identity groups. I'm sure if she was to respond, she would immediately play the race card or the identity card. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with character. And she has proved herself not only to be an individual of low character and low integrity, but she also continues to fail the people of Chicago. Crime is going up. Her relationship with the Chicago Police Department and the Chicago Police Union is in complete disarray. And she has a track record of failure after failure. Here's the newest one. Mayor Lori Lightfoot set a goal to replace 650 toxic lead pipes in Chicago in 2021. So far, three have been removed. Axios Chicago reported this, the Chicago Department of Water Management has removed just six, meaning in the last two months, they've gone from replacing three to six, meaning a pipe and a half being replaced every month. And water officials say that the program's extensive paperwork requirements are slowing them down. Who would have thought that Democrat regulation and red tape and total government incompetence under the management of a total Democrat incompetent would lead to such abject failure? Why it matters, with, with 400,000 toxic lead service lines in the ground, Chicago has more than any other U.S. city, the toxin, which has shown up in the water of two-thirds of the tested homes, can cause brain damage and heart disease. You would think that compassionate activist Mayor Lori Lightfoot would try to solve the problem with haste, but just like the skyrocketing homicide, Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Democrats once again prove that black lives do not matter, at least them. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride and hopefully you have better insight into who exactly Mayor Lori Lightfoot is. Starting off with the Yelp review, having fun, but of course the more serious consequences of having this type of individual in a leadership position. But like usual folks, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. I gotta get back to work though. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.